We begin with a live look at the state capitol tonight on this final weekend of the recall race. A new UC Berkeley poll shows Governor Newsom beating the recall by nearly 22 points. That's compared to late July when some polls had the race at a dead heat. We asked KPI x Wilson Walker to explain the huge shift in the governor's favor. Wilson? List something else about that poll. 40% of the respondents said they had already voted, and the pollsters went out and verified that. So it looks like a pretty strong poll. Now, what to make of the big shift? Well, old saying in politics, never trust the summer polls. Might be a bit of an overstatement, but there are historically reasons to distrust what voters tell pollsters in, say, late July. They're often being polled before a, a, a large number, a large segment of the electorate is not really paying attention to an election, especially in an off-year sort of recall election like we're seeing here today, uh, this, this time. Just over a month ago, polling suggested he was in trouble. Now the very same poll might have you thinking it's the governor's race to lose. Political experts say this is not a broad change in consensus, but evidence that the enthusiasm gap that we heard so much about was wide enough to skew the voter samples. Uh, and back in July, I would say Democrats were sleepwalking uh, and Republicans were very aroused about wanting to get Newsom recalled. So you had this big interest gap between the Republicans and Democrats uh, and most Republicans got into the likely voter sample uh, just based on their own testimony, whereas Democrats relatively, you know, a lot fewer did. And also, uh, Gavin Newsom's approval ratings are pretty strong uh, right now. Uh, um, you know, they're above 50 percent. Turnout is expected to land somewhere around 50 percent. Actual Election Day voting is expected to skew towards yes on the recall, perhaps heavily. And one very open question is how many of those outstanding mail-in ballots will be turned in during the closing days? I did not receive a ballot when I was supposed to, so I called and they sent it over. So now I'm fine dropping it off. There we go. And time is running Follow out to us. do that as the month-long special election winds down and the polls become irrelevant. Conditions probably won't change, but it could change turnout. Turnout expectations could change. We could be wrong. The pollsters could be wrong on what we're expecting right now. And and, and there could be more Republican enthusiasm waiting in that election day vote than we, we are seeing right now or are expecting right now. Think of presidential or congressional elections. They happen on a schedule all the time. We get to study those exhaustively, and that gives us an idea of how elections go or how voters might behave. The special election, by its very nature, a one-off, kind of its own thing, harder to predict. The electorate perhaps more mercurial. How will it unfold Tuesday, Ken? We will see. All right, Wilson Walker outside the registrar's office in Martinez. Thank you, Wilson.